Hi, my friends and family. My name is Trey Smith, and this is Trey Smith's and Tunes channel on Odyssey and YouTube, and my daily ritual, Trey's timeless 15 minutes of explain. This one might be 30, and it is such a glorious time to be alive, is it not? 2023 supposed solar return since the birth of the master Yeshua. And today, my discussion is called Power and Anonymity. Every day is Thanksgiving. Every night, Christmas Eve. Every day is Thanksgiving. Every night, if you believe. So this is Christmas. And what have you done? Another year over. A new one just begun. So have a very Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. Let's make it a good one without any fear. Have a very, very Merry Christmas every day and every night and make your soul clear. Let's make them some good ones. 2023 without all that fear Cause war is over If you want it War is over Now Power and anonymity Think outside of the system, yet in inside of your heart for the answer. And the movie Wizard of Oz really exemplifies the archetype that we're dealing with in this scenario. So, in the in the most one of the most ancient systems I have followed, the Tao, there was a man named Chang Zhu who lived about a century after the Tao Te Ching was written, and he had written a book named Changing Waters, Changing Tides, was the translation. But yet he had a clay cup, a begging bowl, and a blanket, a robe, and he would wander around and do people's dishes or cook or take care of their children while they worked and clean up their house and do the feng shui. And he was completely anonymous. So he was one of my heroes for a long time because he, he was the most well revered, respected sage um, of that whole century in China, but no one knew who he was in physical. Um, so we have the Illuminati. What's the relationship between the Illuminati and the tweakers? I made a whole video about California and how they want to create uh, the pestilence program by having people on the streets twitching on drugs. Um, but yet the people who run things or the shot callers will be invisible, right? So secret societies have existed since the dawn of man. But... Um, you know, they say in the Illuminati, the top dogs are unknown to the public. Well, perhaps because they might not even be uh, human or, you know, the ones that we know are the top dogs are, you know, are only somewhat human, right? So is Bill Gates their puppy at question mark? This show is an example. Okay, here I am filming a tent from a tent somewhere in the Santa Cruz mountains. So, through the power of anonymity of YouTube, which again is some of the, the, the mild, extremely mild, mini drama 
that I've been going through the last few days is, you know, just publicly, publicly um, admitting my, you know, reluctance or questioning their um, honesty about, say, for example, that one of my videos got zero watches, that, that they kept it in rotation without doing any kind of shadow banning. But um, I have actually truly, honestly suffered from uh, something you could say similar to schizoid or schizophrenic, unsure thinking. Ever since I was 16 years old, I started reading Castaneda books. And he ins insisted that uh, shamans have to be anonymous. Uh, whereas from age of uh, 12, 13, I got into uh, Guns N' Roses, Def Leppard, and Led Zeppelin, and I wanted to be a rock star. So, so I went from um, Crowley's um, number one guy getting all the records to several years later starting to think, well, maybe I could, I should be anonymous. He would say to get your hair cut short and rent a nice small house and do your shamanism in there. But that was a long time ago, 70, 50, 70 years ago when the shamans had to hide. But nowadays they go on YouTube, so. We called it making it big, making it big. Think about that, Mis making it big with Mr. Big. I'm so glad um, I didn't make it big because uh, in the year 2020, when they locked down the world, I would have been able to play music for no one. But I went out to West Cliff Drive to the same place where I practiced my horn for three or four years when there was police tape over it and they were charging people $3,000 fines to sit on the bench. And the police drove by me while I sat on the bench rocking out to no one because, you know why? Because they saw me practicing there a few times before the lockdown. So I feel um, working with the invisible powers is both good and bad. Okay, YouTube is a, is a classic example, right? So real power, public broadcasting, a free open source. Um, but I feel the shadow ban encroachment of my teachings, actually ever since the second video I tried to upload or third, well, it was too long according to their, it's their rules, for example, that I'm not allowed to make one over 15 minutes without a cell phone. Um, well, as some other details I could probably figure out to learn how to do it. Probably some rules. I haven't learned all the rules yet. I'm a new boy on this game, but, um, you know, I, like I say, I believe their original intention was a beautiful thing. However, um, you know, I am not uh, racist or homophobic and uh, at all. So I'm here to spread truth to all. I'm, uh, Without any judgment, uh, I, I'm I'm I have the courage to to share to be, try to become transparent electronically in this electronic age of Aquarius on YouTube because of a certain amount of fearlessness and courage to do it to do so. Um, but it really goes against the the Dark Lord for me to sit here and tell you all their all their details, you know. So. Um, so I'm going to get zero people to, to watch. I don't really believe zero people are watching. I'm just saying it's, it's interesting. I'm talking about this video after it had been up for 24 hours. That had never happened to me before. So um, that happened yesterday. So I thought that was interesting. Um, so um, that is, there's a truth of the, you know, the hidden Jewish power and that they've established in the structure of Hollywood, many media other media, print, you know, they're owning stores, health food stores that we're using, you know, and, uh, but they're, they're not like going to actually say here, hi, how, how are you doing? I'm John. I own the store. But the, like I say, the actual, the guy who owns the health food store I hang out at, I got to know him a tiny bit by their, they have, they used to, before the lockdown, they would have this huge party on the store's birthday every year. And they'd give out all the samples they got that most of them that one day, and the whole parking lot be filled with people. Then and they'd give out. They'd have a bunch of people come and give awesome samples, and people would get these bags full of um, 
they give you a canvas bag like this you could just fill or plastic bag this big you could just fill with all these health food and vitamin samples and i actually saw he's about 80 years old now 80 years young now i seen him spin i saw him spin around dancing and he turned me on to this band called the joint chiefs a really really tight funk band that can make it almost sound like you're hearing these 70s funk tracks almost as tight as the radio track live it's interesting this dude is older than about the age i am now he broke his leg and as a construction worker and he went on um, temporary physical disability, but he became so good at good at guitar during that time. He was able to, and within several years, they you know pay his rent with his his tight funk. And I had so much fun dancing around in there. But yeah, it's um you have to admit that I mean the whole the teachings are uh, cloistered and ironically similar to the um, you know the both the the Muslim and the Jewish, all actually all the Abrahamic religions, you know, as well as Taoism, like I just said, shamanism, many traditions teach, um, you know, to stay private, to try to have your private space, you know, which I've said also myself is key to the healing. But again, um, one cannot um, cling to these privatizations and think it's going to be healthy in the long term because it's, uh, that's another reason I haven't mentioned to the, publicly why this certain person doesn't want to speak to me but um, the ritualized ex acceptance of hierarchy um, that's what the fake Christians the arbitrary morality I'm inside today you know I guess it's Sunday I want to keep it religious and uh, but also the planes are circling and I'd rather them have to wait till they can watch it on online later to then have first um, to be able to be a part of the show you know so um you have to realize that the beliefs of the fake christians the churchians the bible thumpers the, the orthodox christians and even the, the orthodox jews is like exactly the same as the new world order they believe in this hierarchy of power structure that is has inherent violence or psychic violence at least you know, mental abuse um, mental flogging yourself and inherently involved. Um, it's built in because, you know, with the Jews, it was the Anunnaki and then the, the black sun Dracos with the Catholics, you know, they brought it in. Okay. So it's inherently going to have some amount of slavery, self-flagellation involved. Okay. And you, this is the part you have to weed out to get clear, to get healthy in your, your subconscious. Um, so the, the fake Christians have arbitrary morality. It's exactly the same as the new world order, the scientism death cult, which is, or, um, postmodernism, which is even more deadly, which is this idea that what we like is good and moral. This is what I was watching Mark Passio speak of today on his presentation, fake, fake Christians. This is why they won't talk to me. Okay. Because I tell the truth about things they're just terrified of that could possibly be real. And it's out of the Demiurge's control system, so it can't be. Or Yahweh, or whoever's control system, it can't be real. We can't respect my views from their outside of the box. Um, the shadow banners can't allow me, because I'm telling you the truth from a tent. I'm not paying rent. Aww. So... That's why I want to chastise them and, and, and shine the light of the Holy Lord, the Christ, Soul Helios, on the fake Luciferians and say, look, this is not power. This is fear. Okay, you can take it off. You can take the ban off. You know why? Because I'm harmless and respectful to all beings. I'm not here to, to fight. I'm not racist. I'm not a coward. Okay? When it comes to conversation, at least. Um, and I would like to, to be self-sovereign financially. And I would like it if YouTube would honor my desire to do that rather than try to mess with it if they are. In the age of Pisces, the indiv individual salvation or enlight individual enlightenment was the focus, okay? This is where we're from. In the age of Aquarius, communication. Um, again, the, the healing oneness of, of, of availability of the whole. The aggregate, the oneness of all beings, human soul, 
If you like this, click my iris subscribe and create a great one, and I'll tell you a little more.